beautiful lesson let us accept them as they come with this let us start our day a very refreshing morning to one and all present here respected principal teachers and all my dear friends today me tanya on the behalf of class 7 mass gathered here to present today's morning assembly let me ask some questions to introduce our team who declared literacy day well the right answer is unesco When did Literacy Day celebrated? Yes, the right answer is 8 September. When did first Literacy Day celebrated? Well, the right answer is 1967. When did UNESCO declared Literacy Day? Well, the right answer is 1966. You might have known that our today's theme is Literacy Day. Yes, our theme is International Literacy Day. as we all are aware that we start every event and occasion with prayer prayer means the purification of one's soul it takes away negative thoughts from our mind it helps us to achieve our goals and dreams in our life for prayer i would like to call the choir group of class 7 mass for prayer please come forward and start this precious day with for blessing of god make me a channel of your peace When there is hatred, let me bring your love. When there is injury, your oh pardon, Lord. And where there's doubt, true faith in you. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there's despair in life, let me bring hope. Where there is darkness, only light. And where there's sadness, grant that i may never see so much to be consoled as to console to be understood as to understand to be loved as to love with all my soul make me a channel of your peace a pledge is a way to show you love and respect towards your nation society or culture for pledge i would like to call gurmeher gurmeher please come forward and lead for us the with a pledge india is my country, india is my country. All, all indians are all indians are my brothers and sisters my brothers and sisters i love my country i love my country and i am proud of it i am proud of it rich and varied heritage rich and varied heritage i shall always try to be worthy of it i shall give respect to my parents teachers and all my dear elders and treat everyone with courtesy to my country and my people i pledge my devotion in their well being and prosperity alone lies my happiness jai hind updating ourselves with current happening is a good habit for news i would like to call palvinder palvinder please come forward and enlighten us with Today's current news. happenings national news first pm modi unveils kartavya path says rajpath is history now second prime minister narendra modi has inaugurated a stretch of the redeveloped central vista from Rashtrapati Bhavan India Gate that has been renamed from Rajpath to Kartavya Path. Third, Prime Minister Narendra Modi also unveiled a statue of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. Fourth, India-China troops began disengagement from key stand of point in Ladakh. International news: First, Prince Harry and Meghan do travel to Scotland to see Queen Elizabeth. Second, NASA could attempt moon launch on September 23. Sport news first India versus China India gave target of 213 runs to Afghanistan Virat Kohli made 122 runs second India won the match against Afghanistan by 101 runs Virat Kohli scored 122 runs and Bhavneshwar Kumar taken 5 wickets some weather news maximum temperature 35 degrees celsius minimum temperature 26 degrees celsius thank you and have a glorious day A good thought can change the entire day. To change your day, here comes Arushi with her thought to share it with us. Always listen before you speak. Learn to error before you spend. Think before you write. Try and try before you quit and cry. Live your dreams before.
before you die. Thank you and have a nice day. Which country has the most uneducated adults? 
Singapore? No, the right answer is India. <laughs> Next question, what is the literacy rate of India? Yes, the right answer is 77.7%. <laughs> Fifth question, which state of India has the most literacy rate? Kerala. Yes, the right answer is Kerala. <laughs> Sixth question, which state in India has the least literacy rate? <laughs> no, the right answer is Andhra Pradesh. <laughs> Seventh question, in 2005, UNESCO started a prize collaboration with which country? No, the right answer is China. <laughs> Last but not the least, what is India's flagship program for achievement of universalization of elementary education in a time-bound manner? I repeat my question once again. What is India's flagship program for achievement of universalization of elementary education in a time-bound manner? Well, the right answer is Sarp Shiksha Abhyan. The students of class 7 must prepare a six skit based on literacy day. Now I request you to listen and see what is happening in the skit. A for apple, A, P, P, L, E, apple, B for boy, B, O, Y, boy. C for cat, C A T cat. What are you doing, Paras? Paras? I am trying to learn alphabets and words. What do you need, Paras? No, no need. Don't waste time. Go to the field and clear up the hay. Oh, 
Post, 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 post,